Good afternoon. It's November the 17th. I hope my sound is working. If, uh, if you're hearing this, please let me know. Um, kind of late today. I kept waiting for it to quit snowing and it finally did. We're post blizzard here. Um, and this won't be too long. I, my ultimate goal is to end up at the grocery store, but uh, I'm going to uh, walk a somewhat drawn out route to get there. And then we'll take a look to see what it looks like after yesterday's blizzard. So I'm going to head back to the dike. Kind of where I started to go yesterday and then it got kind of too nasty and I decided not to. But uh, I've gone full, full winter here and I'm wearing my parka today. It's about minus seven uh, Celsius, which is uh, what? Uh, let's see, 7 times 9 is uh, 63 divided by 5 is 12 and 3 fifths, so call it 20 degrees, or like 19. Now it's supposed to be minus 1 tomorrow, so hopefully we'll get some melting on the streets. Um, but we'll see. A lot of people have already got their sidewalks cleared, as you can see. I checked the mic, everything seemed to work, but yesterday it looked like it was working and there was no sound. So please somebody, uh, if you start watching, check in and tell me you can hear me. I'll have to watch my footing too, because you can't see what's under the snow and I know there's ice. So I'm gonna be as careful as I can here. So this is my first full winter outfit walking with my parka and everything. And there's somebody with a dog. There's always somebody with a dog. So you think I'll cross over where their sidewalks are clearer on that side. Looks like there's somebody there, so uh, if you can hear me, please let me know. If you can't hear me, let me know. And I'll pull out the microphone, but that would be really annoying. Oop. Hi, reception loud and clear, good. Everything looks different all of a sudden, wonder why. Like the image, the pictures aren't the same, but I know that they've, they've been fiddling with this app, Prism, because they've the multi-stream thing I've been using, where I was streaming YouTube and Facebook at the same time, always said beta on it. And uh, as of yesterday, or the day before, I suddenly couldn't stream, multi-stream anymore, so. And now I see that the chat looks different, so they've clearly been playing with their uh, video here, or playing with their app a bit. Good old Henderson Terrace that I've walked by many times. Make sure I don't get run over by this guy. I'm going to head over to the dike again and uh, walk along the creek a bit. It stormed pretty much all day. Even now the wind is still pretty high. Um, I do have the little, what they call the dead cat, <laughs> the little fur ball on top of the mic. Uh, for kind of the first time I've used it. I tried to use it yesterday, but it didn't work. Tried to cut down on wind noise. So I'll be interested to see when I get home if that worked or not. I came very close to not walking today at all because I had to shovel the walk and I was sore after that. 
I thought, do I really want to walk? But as the day went along, I started to feel antsy and guilty for not, you know, doing my part. Boy, the dogs are everywhere right now. I... want to let down my myriad fans. I have over 200 subscribers now to this channel. They don't watch it live, but uh, yesterday's Blizzard video did have over 100 views already as of this morning. People like that kind of stuff. Ooh, a lot of ice here. I guess I knew that from yesterday. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, woof. So I walked up here yesterday. But I didn't stay on it very long. Today I'll go on around to Helfenstone and then up. <laughs> uh, the steps have disappeared. <laughs> well. I'd be better off climbing the slope than climbing the steps, that's for sure. So we'll just climb the slope. Probably a bit of a drift here too, but it won't be as deep as what was on the steps, it looked like. There we go. Uh, it says the external mic disconnected, but I've gotten that message before and it hadn't. So I'm hoping I still have sound. Kirk, if you're still there, let me know. <sighs> the windshield is uh, significant at minus 7. I think the windshield is something at minus 20, so see that the creek is frozen much more solidly, as one would expect. Oh, that's the wind blowing the mic right off the gimbal there. Or blowing the gimbal. It's very icy in spots. <laughs> it won't, it won't stay going straight. There's less ice. I still have sound. Good to know. Thank you. It gives me that message. An external mic is disconnected, but it's given it to me before. I don't know why. Technology. Watch my feet. Oh, there's the creek. Tell where the wind was blowing because it blew the snow right off the ice. There's snow geese up there. Really regretting not having already headed south, I would imagine. Burr. I will be glad to turn the corner and not walk directly into the wind. Not particularly pleasant today, but <laughs> it's scenic, I suppose, in its own 
Holy cow, it's winter, sort of, right? Yeah, this is different because I can actually see a count of how many live viewers I have, which I wasn't seeing before. Ah! How many people watch me fall down if I'm not careful? Look, there's now three people watching. Five. But as I said, most of my viewers watch the replays, don't watch the live stream. Last time I checked, we were up to 140 or something. The, uh, for yesterday's video on the blizzard, the uh, snow storm walk I did back in April, I think it's gone over a thousand. It's pushing a thousand anyway. But I think it's over a thousand. The one I did in St. John's is pushing a thousand. We may have gone over it by now too. My ordinary walks, it just depends where it is. University always gets lots of viewers. Downtown walks tend to get more viewers. Friday I'll walk downtown. I'm meeting my brother for lunch. So I will do a two-parter that day, as I've done once before. I'll walk down to the Hotel Saskatchewan in part one, and walk home from the Hotel Saskatchewan in part two. Here we are in Elphinstone now. Traffic was terrible yesterday at the end of the day. It was backed up like crazy. My wife stayed home from work today. Worked from home. And of course, everybody's more prepared to do that now, having had experience. Unstable internet. Hang in there. I am trying to stream at 1080. I do worry that that might overstress the uh, bandwidth, so it's possible I want to go back to 720. Let's see how this goes. That warning message is staying there. <clears throat> Message went away. Hopefully, I've got a strong signal again here. So much traffic for a big five o'clock. I suspect a lot of people have stayed home. I suppose to have a rehearsal tonight. I didn't get to I'll stay on this side of Elphinstone today. Yes, I'm in a show next week called uh, Guilty Pleasures for Town of Lyric Singers. Songs that stick in your head. Songs you like even though you know you're not supposed to, or something like that. Mostly I just think they're good songs. We'll just stay here on Elton Stone. Alley. Even the alleys look better in the winter. I don't know where I'll walk tomorrow. There's the unstable internet warning again. So, again, I may have to rethink streaming in 1080. Hasn't failed, it's just gotten a little jerky, I'm sure. <clears throat> and there it is again, unstable internet. I don't normally get that along here, so it may be a function of the bandwidth I'm trying to use. There it is again.
way. Everybody's still there. It's showing me still three, I think. So I have an electric snow shovel that I've started trying to use. I'm of two minds about it. I guess in the heavier snow like this, it was kind of helpful. But uh, in lighter snow, the thing is, it's heavy. So you want it, presumably, to make clearing snow easier. But pushing the thing is every bit as much work as using a regular snow shovel. It felt to me like. And in some ways, it doesn't do as good a job. So it was really good for clearing our driveway, although I actually have a full-blown snowblower, but electric snowblower, but uh, we are currently having difficulty getting in and out of our garage, so it's kind of not easy to get to. So I just used the little electric snow shovel and it worked, and it, that was certainly easier than doing it by hand. Yet it wasn't easy, easy. <laughs> I want something that makes it no work at all to clear the snow. And I guess there is such a thing. It's called hire somebody, which certainly lots of people on our street do. Like our next door neighbor has somebody that's doing it for him now. And uh, I saw the guy today. I should have asked him what he, what he charges. That was one of the nice things about living in a condo, of course, is not having to deal with all this school over there. I'll turn right here. Oh, heavy snow in that corner. fingers are getting cold. There's no reason I have to wear gloves. I could wear mitts, which are much warmer. So I'll remember that for future walking. I do have a heavier pair of gloves as well. Uh, let's take an alley. Shall we? No, actually, I think I'll go this way because I kind of had in mind to walk through the park by the Cathedral, which will be up here a ways. The thumb's getting really cold. The wind blowing a bit. Plenty warm though. I probably would have been fine with my leather jacket and a sweater under it. The park actually feels a bit like overkill. At minus seven. It's more like minus 10 before it really starts to come into its own, or minus 15 or something. Uh, I don't know how much snow we got. I would guess... Hmm. Oof, eight centimeters, maybe? Or 10? 10 would be four inches. I don't know if we quite got four inches. It's hard to tell too because of the, the blue around. Look at the geese overhead. Getting kind of southeast there. Looks like a picture postcard now with the snow, some of these houses. Sort of like a Christmas card. Looks almost particularly nice and wintry and Christmassy with the evergreens framing it and the one in the front as well. I don't know if they'll do Christmas lights or not. Some people have started putting them up, but I haven't put mine up yet. Oh, there's one for sale. Which one is it? This little or littler one here in between the two bigger ones is for sale. 
that's an old one there, I would think, from the style. And a very new one here, from the style. I want to walk through this park up here, I think. Probably still be a little early to head straight to the uh, Safeway, so maybe we'll cross 13th at the light and walk up on between there and Victoria a bit before we wrap it up. It will be a shorter walk today, though. I'm just a little. right there. We're going to go over here. Along this path. Not that it's been cleared or anything. Holy Rosary School over there. And then of course the cathedral will come up directly ahead of us there. Been a few people along here. It's uh, not quite breaking fresh ground, but that's what it feels like. It'd be just as easy to just walk across as to follow the path, I think. But I'll follow the path. Lots of snow on the trees along here. That's where we've come, so. Maybe we have had four inches, 10 centimeters. I haven't seen a number. Here's their little backyard for the old nunnery, which is now condos. School over there. This is also the school playground, of course. Here. And Holy Rosary Cathedral in front of us. I am actually still sore from falling after our first snowfall. What was that now? A week ago we fell? I uh, pulled a muscle or something in my upper right side of my chest, which was hurting after working the shovel today. Still have a sore knee and a sore elbow where I went down. So I hope that's the only time that happens. There's the cathedral. And there is a crosswalk up here that we will use. Because how long have I been out? I'll stretch it out a little bit more. We'll go up to Victoria and come back. Besides, everything looks more interesting as the lights start to come on and it gets darker. Avenue Coffee House here. Not one I use very often. It's, I don't find their space conducive to riding, which is what I mostly look for in a coffee shop. Not the coffee so much. They do have the cool, cool uh, mural here, though. Uh, good afternoon in Victoria. Well, that must be Madeline. Yes. Yeah, you have your own uh, your own concerns over there, that's for sure. All right, well, I suspect this is the same system that brought you all that rain. By the time it hit the prairies, it was a blizzard. My brother lives in Kelowna. He'll, he'll be here tomorrow, so I'll be interested to see. 
what it's been like around there. I don't know if he's already in the, he may already be here. He probably is already here. No, he's not here tomorrow. Friday I'm seeing him. Oh, there's some Christmas decorations. Now they live up on a mountaintop. So, uh, or a hilltop. Overlooking the lake. Of course, they have to worry about, I suppose, mudslides and things. Somebody up there shoveling. So I'll walk up here to Victoria. I walked along 13th not that long ago, so... Maybe I'll walk along Victoria and then come back down, further down, get back on 13th, and walk to the grocery store, which is where we'll call this quits. Actually, the footing's not bad because the, the snow has more grip than... As long as it doesn't have ice under it. The trouble is, of course, you can't see whether you have ice under it. And there goes the unstable internet connection again. Hang in there. This is Victoria Avenue. It's a wide street with a uh, divider down the middle with trees on it. Some of the older houses along here are quite nice. was a major, major residential street in the early days of the city. Lambert Street. And of course it takes you straight to the heart of downtown by the aforementioned Hotel Saskatchewan and the Land Titles Building and Metropolitan United Church and First Baptist Church, and the courthouse, and all that kind of stuff. Some trees decorated up over there. The sidewalks are fairly well cleared. Evening traffic, as close as we get to a rush hour. Well, last night was as close as we get to a rush hour because there was gridlock last night with the bad weather. Tech stuff is moving better today. And a lot of people may not have gone to work today. My wife worked from home today since she could. steel I-beams. It's probably the strongest built house in the city. I don't know if it's a single building anymore, if it's uh, divided into apartments. I suspect it's apartments. In my book, Historic Walks of Regina and Rusha. There is no ebook version, unfortunately. And of course, the print version is increasingly. Well, some of the places in it have been torn down since the book came out. It was published by Red Deer Press, Fitz Henry and Whiteside. But it's several years old now. <laughs> has joined me. Hi Miriam in India. Welcome to winter in Saskatchewan. The blizzard is over. So we're now in the post-blizzard period. A 
wind is far less than it was earlier because it was gusting to 100 kilometers an hour or higher in parts of the province yesterday. Zero visibility in blowing snow. Even in the city there are spots. And uh, I wouldn't have, would not have wanted to be out on the roads. The Trans Canada was closed between here and Moose Jaw, I know, and probably other places as well. Other roads were closed, or should have been, or people that were on them were wishing they hadn't gone that way. It's, uh, it's no fun to be out on the highways when you can't see the road very well, if at all. I have been there. Here's one for sale. So I was happy to be home yesterday, last night. And I'm happy that my uh, rehearsal that was supposed to be happening tonight has been cancelled. Although I certainly could have gotten there because it's uh, <laughs> it's about a block that direction, two blocks that way. But not everybody lives as close to the place as I do. We're rehearsing in the Union Hall. I don't know which Union it is. Um, or if it's just kind of a general hall for unions, I don't know. But their basement is actually a very nice place to rehearse in. Good size and everything else. Well, we might as well walk all the way down to the corner and get a look at uh, downtown. There's some Christmas sights going up. Or on already, I should say. We'll go all the way down to the corner here. And... Uh, you can go around and walk up 13th till we get to Safeway, and that's where I will call this quits. How long have I gone? Well, at least I've done my half an hour. It'll be about 40 minutes when I get there. Not bad for a late walk. I have a shopping list that my wife gave me. And it, again, it looks way darker to my eyes than it does on the... Uh, on the phone. The phone adjusts to low light so well that you kind of lose some of the feeling of what it should be. Yes, yeah, so the... Uh, keep my eyes on the road because there's ice here. The uh, Union Hall that I was talking about that we rehearse at is uh, right up there, just one block. So I could easily have made it, even on foot, but not everybody could. It will be like this for the next five to six months, most of the time. We'll get some melts, and sometimes it can get quite brown, but then the snow will come back. Or it might just stay white. This time of the year, you just don't know. The Viterra building used to be Sasquatch Pool and was originally built as a uh, as a uh, apartment store. It has these great sculptures along it. And up there, there are gargoyles that nobody sees because you generally don't look up. You can sort of see on the corner there, you can see the one brooding on the corner against the sky there. see into it to tonight. It's not terribly exciting. You can tell it's the weed pool because there's those, those are bags of weed sitting over there. There are some sort of tests. There's downtown, but we're not going down there today, which you can see on down Victoria Avenue there. We're going this way, carrying on past the Viterra building here. Sorry, on my feet. One fall was enough. It's the Credit Union Central there. 
there's a clinic in here, as you might guess from the fact it says X-ray on the side of the building. Well, there was a clinic, actually. I think it's closed. Since it says for lease, that would seem to be a good... They must move somewhere else. And uh, this is just a little strip mall with some offices and things in it. mostly unoccupied at the moment too, except for Float Now down here. This is like it's nice and clear. Group medical services over there, that's your additional health insurance. We of course have socialized medicine, so the government pays for health care, but you can buy additional insurance for travel and to cover things that aren't covered by the government plan. This is the Cathedral Social Hall here. I often come to write. It has a very good selection of beer, if that's what you'd like. You can even see in it tonight. As we walk by, not very busy. This is a framing store. And this is Viet Thai, our favorite. Vietnamese Thai restaurant where we often order from or eat at. They are open. I'll go down here and cross at a crosswalk because I think I walked on the other side last time I was down this way. Can't really remember. There's a little coffee shop here. Well, this is Viet Thai, but there's a coffee shop next to it. Oh, that smells good. I'm getting hungry. Coffee shop, which is closed at the moment. And as I often point out, that's uh, the Artesian, which used to be a church, Church of God, I think. And uh, oh, well, nobody has cleared that sidewalk to walk through the parking lot. It has been turned into a performance art space. I performed in there, and Golden Apple Theater I used to be on the board of, a professional theater company. That's where we performed. And Down in the basement, there's a lovely little lounge where I filmed a book launch for my poetry book. I tumbled through the diamond dust that came out of a few years ago. Something like that. Here's the Viterra building, the modern part of it. That's a law office over there, I think. It doesn't really have much of a sign on it, so I'm never quite sure what that is. There's the artesian from this direction. We're headed to Safeway, which is just a couple of blocks away now. Shoe clinic for all your shoe repair needs. The thing about walking at this time of night is you can actually see in these places. There's the shoe clinic. Next to it is Traditions Craft Gallery, which has a Christmas tree, and you can see some of the pottery and stuff they have in there. This is actually a good time of night to walk by and see in places like this. Also, mostly, well, all I would think, Saskatchewan made crafts. There's Paper Umbrella, which is a uh, Uh, stationary store, that sort of thing. They also have Christmas trees, which kind of block the view of what's inside. But this is Cup of Tea, which is a tea store. Oh, that's the, that's the Chinese medicine store, and this is Cup of Tea. This is a warehouse books, and over there is Burns Hanley, the Christian bookstore. A warehouse books. There's the uh, coffee shop, restaurant, I guess, really. They have coffee and they also do ice cream. The little stand there is very popular in the summertime. This used to be the Oddfellows Hall, where I performed once upon a time. I 
can't remember what they call the place, but it looks very nice at night with the light on the murals there. Up next is the liquor store. In there. <clears throat> this is new, our neighborhood liquor store, Sobeys. Insurance place over there. Good old fashioned neon sign. Literally neon, because neon is the gas that turns red. Not just fluorescent, but an actual neon sign. There's Safeway, uh, but I'm going to walk up one more block to the crosswalk so I don't have to walk out in front of traffic. This side of the liquor store. This is the community center. It's somewhat odd little sculpture here. here. Federal Neighborhood Center. Safeway where we'll be, I'll be ending my walk. Well, I'll be ending my live stream. I won't be ending my walk because I have to walk home from there. But. Cathedral Pet Stop. Pet Store. A little too focused on dogs if you ask me, being more of a cat person myself. a little bit. This is your music store. Wild Medicine. I don't know, Vigo Money Transfer, I don't even know what that is. Hair Salon. And here we have the uh, Mercury Diner. Fish store over there. Here's the crosswalk I was aiming for. There's the Westminster United and the Cathedral there, and uh, we're heading to Safeway here, so I will actually call this quits in a second. Right here, I think. So, thanks for walking with me. How long did I end up going? 43 minutes. Not bad for a day when I didn't actually intend to walk. So, uh, thanks for walking with me, and uh, I expect to be back tomorrow. Bye for now.